right yes a beautiful morning to us and welcome to another moment talking sport right here on your number one dial politics and business uh, sport uh, it is uh, the sports punch right here on uh, your tv station you can reach us online on our youtube and also all uh, social media platforms uh, all right uh, today before we start up uh, we'll be looking at uh, what is trending in the Nigerian Super Falcons camp uh, ahead of uh, the Nigerian South African game. And also we'll be looking at uh, uh, what is to com comprehend uh, in uh, the African Cup of Nations 2023, uh, which is actually ongoing in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, what is the take-home address and what is uh, uh, the take-home locations for so many teams uh, that have actually stepped down for the likes of Cameroon, for the likes of Senegal, Egypt, uh, and Morocco, who have been tagged as uh, the most favorite teams uh, to actually triumph in the AFCON 2023, have actually end up uh, to being in the home address location. But this time around, we'll be looking at uh, so many discussions uh, uh, in view uh, of the outcomes uh, of uh, the African Cup of Nations. Uh, the underdogs who are actually trading up to the semifinals right now, talking about Côte d'Ivoire, and the likes of them and other shocking moment are in the african cup of nation my name is rudon musaga rmg i i'll be i'll be your host and guide this beautiful morning uh till 9 30. but before we budge into the storylines and also the news coming in from uh the nigerian super Eagles, uh, um team that's the camp let's quickly go for a quick uh afghan break and then when we come back uh, we'll be giving you a hint uh, of what is trending in the camp. Don't go nowhere. Yes, uh, who shall win it? Uh, that is the African Cup of Nations uh, uh, 2023 edition, the special edition where we are having uh, mouth watering encounters, uh, uh, battles uh, from all angles, uh, starting from the round of 32 to the round of 16, and right now, a round of 8. Uh, and then we'll be looking uh, from the round of 8 also. And now we are hoping uh, to have the round of 8, uh, the round of 4 games uh, coming up uh, uh, from. Uh, um uh, tomorrow uh, which is wednesday yeah uh, march uh, day one of the semi-finals uh, will be kicking off uh, and then uh, there is a possibility that either of these four teams are uh, definitely two will be in the finals uh, who are we talking about we're talking about uh, the nigerian gamer uh, versus uh, south africa and that of kiveda and uh, ivory coast uh, or is that of a uh, democratic and Ivory Coast. Uh, oh yes, uh, this is how it's going to be slugging out uh, in uh, the semis uh, of uh, uh, the African Cup of Nations 2023 edition. Record holds it that South Africa. Uh, this is the first time uh, in so many years uh, of the Afcon they are getting to the semi-finals. Uh, and as for Nigeria, the last time they got to this stage uh, was in uh, the 2018 uh, Afcon. Uh, and also uh, for uh, the Cote d'Ivoire side, uh, uh, it has been a long time coming for them also. But uh, the newcomers are uh, talking about the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is the first time ever in their history uh, to have actually emerged into the semi-finals of a big competition as big as uh, the African Cup of Nations. Now let's quickly grab into the camp of uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles. Let's see uh, which of the players are actually making impact and probably which of the players are going to be starting. Yes, uh, the likes of Victor Osime. There is a doubt story coming out of uh, the camp of the Nigerian Super Eagles. As uh, according to the Nigerian Super Eagles media officer, Baba Raji, uh, actually uh, Victor Osime is suffering from an abdominal discomfort uh, and there is possibility he might not be starting 
in tomorrow's uh, semi-final game against uh, South Africa. The Napoli hitman uh, failed to travel with the rest of the squad uh, to Boake on Monday night uh, for a training uh, ahead of uh, the South African game. And the players and their officials departed Abidjan uh, for Boake via air. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire around, uh, around 10 p.m. Uh, local time last night. Uh, and uh, Osime uh, has uh, been placed on the close watcher. Uh, and he will join the rest of the team on Tuesday, which is later today, uh, if uh, he is cleared by the medical team. And the 25-year-old uh, has scored uh, one goal uh, and provided one assist uh, five match in five matches uh, of the African Cup of Na um, Nations uh, ongoing in the 523 finals. Uh, and Josepo Paceros men uh, will take the Bafana Bafana of South Africa at the Stadio La Pretz, uh, uh, Boake on Wednesday evening. And uh, this is uh, what is the Nigerian Super Eagles and also uh, not just Victor Osime, the likely person that could not start uh, is Juan Bali, even though uh, Juan Bali is actually uh, with the team uh, out there uh, in uh, their camp. Uh, uh, we saw him travel out with them last night, uh, but there is a possibility that Juan Bali is still not fit uh, to start. But what if he doesn't fit? Uh, what is your take on uh, uh, this one? Uh, the number uh, to actually you could actually reach us on our Facebook platforms uh, uh, and drop a comment right on the live uh, stream there. Uh, you can get us uh, and tell us uh, what are your predictions uh, uh, for the game between Africa, uh, South Africa uh, versus Nigeria. Uh, that game uh, is one encounter that all people will be looking at. Uh, uh, let's also look at the head-to-head -head, uh, uh, between the Nigerian Super Eagles uh, and uh, the South African side. Uh, uh, we are in the head-to-head. -head, uh, uh, we've seen Nigeria uh, won it five times uh, against the South African side. Uh, and if uh, bloggers, uh, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, playing uh, with uh, uh, the South African side, uh, uh, we've won them in a couple of uh, uh, competitions uh, with met, uh, uh, most especially in the African Cup of Nations, where it has been uh, uh, just uh, uh, Nigeria leading the way. And we'll be looking at uh, the five uh, trailing wins uh, of uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles uh, against uh, uh, the Bafana Bafanas uh, of uh, uh, South Africa. Uh, quickly, let's start with the first one of uh, the first meeting uh, between Nigeria and South Africa. It's end up two goals to one in favor of Nigeria. And then South Africa and Nigeria drew it all 1-1 one -one in the other game. And also, uh, Nigeria lost uh, to South Africa two goals to nothing in uh, another encounter. While Nigeria versus uh, uh, South Africa, it went on 2-2 draw after the 2-0 trash of Nigeria. And then South Africa and Nigeria also went on a simultaneous goalless draw with Nigeria winning the next three, got three goals to one. And South Africa losing again, one goal to nothing. And uh, Nigeria have been unbeaten in their last four games against uh, 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 South Africa, having to clinch about uh, uh, six, seven uh, to ten goals. Uh, in one uh in three of uh or uh, uh, the, the last one uh, for the South African side. So uh, the, the the books are, or should we say, the odds are, are actually uh, with uh, uh, the Nigerian uh, Super Eagles uh, here, uh, as we have ten goals in our last four games uh, against the South African side, while they have just three goals. So what do you think? Is there an easy ride for the Nigerian Super Eagles in the African Cup of Nations semi-finals, or probably we'll be seeing a shocker because these uh, seasons, uh, or should I say, this African Cup of Nations has been a shocker right from game 30 right from game one uh, to march day uh, 16 uh, uh, and also in the round of eight uh, uh, we saw a lot of encounter we saw how the code of your own side uh, uh, actually almost uh, got themselves asked out uh, as the host country uh, but now they are in the uh, semi-finals uh, away to the Republic of uh, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. And we saw uh, what the Mauritanians actually did in the group stage. We saw how uh, the Egyptians uh, uh, bow out and uh, the pharaohs uh, actually bowed out. Uh, we saw how the Indomitable Lions were swallowed and were eaten up uh, by the eagles of the Nigerian Super Eagles. And we saw how the elephants, the Terenga Lions uh, also of Senegal, uh, had to step down uh, uh, from their nest uh, and move on back to their dens uh, to continue uh, regrooming uh, their self. Uh, and also we saw uh, so many encounters, the Black Stars of Ghana and the Banta, 
between the Nigerian uh, fans and also the Ghanaian fans uh, can never stop. Uh, uh, we saw uh, the Antelopes of Angola uh, who also were triumphed uh, against uh, uh, the same the Nigerian Super Eagles. Now the Bafana Bafana side, let's quickly talk about the story coming in from the Bafana Bafana side. We are the goalkeeper. Uh, who uh, he has actually break records uh, uh, in uh, uh, the African Cup of Nations so far so good uh, uh, making uh, numerous uh, sets of, uh, 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 of uh, penalty saver and the man has been the talking point in all media platforms across the world uh, even in Africa as a standard uh, some European clubs are, are actually trailing high figures uh, on uh, uh, the goalkeeper the South African goalkeeper who is already making waves uh, and uh, people are actually saying that uh, uh, the man will be uh, the stopper of uh, uh, the Nigerian team. Uh, do you think uh, that the South African side has what it takes uh, to stop Nigeria uh, in uh, uh, this uh, uh, South African game? Let's quickly glance in Africa's goalkeeper's uh, uh, little record that he has actually made. Uh, yes, uh, you can see him on the screen there. Uh, talking about uh, Rowan Williams, uh, uh, who was the hero for their side at the as uh, their side beat Cape Verde on penalties to reach out uh, uh, to the Afghan semi-finals on uh, uh, Saturday. Uh, yes, uh, the Afghan team, after a 0-0 uh, draw, a hard-fought 0-0 draw in regulation time, the game had to be decided on penalties with South Africa. Winning two goes to one, and all thanks uh, to the showstopper uh, talking about the standard performance uh, and the shootout that was uh, Williams uh, who made a uh, uh, four good saves, uh, not hitting the bar, not going out of uh, the ball, ball post, uh, but uh, stopping it with his own hands. Uh, following his heroic calf confirmed that data uh, Williams has become the first goalkeeper ever to save four penalties in a single Afghan shootout. But Africa will now face uh, uh, the three-time African champions. Uh, uh, their first edition. This is their first semi-final uh, since the uh, 2000 edition co-hosted by Ghana and Nigeria. That was the last time South Africa actually got uh, to uh, the uh, semi-finals. And the 1996 African champions uh, will take on Super Eagles uh, three times uh, champions uh, uh, in Bueke uh, later tomorrow evening. Uh, Williams is currently, uh, he plies his trader at the same South African Premier Soccer League uh, um, known as the PSL in the Giants of uh, Memolodi Sundowns. And we know what Memolodi Sundowns have been actually doing in the South African League. They've actually won the league a couple of times uh, and they've been topping uh, the league even right now. Uh, they are at the top of uh, the lock table in the South African League. And it, he is uh, actually a two-year-old man who just made his debut uh, for South Africa in the year uh, 2014. Uh, in the year 2014, uh, March 5th, uh, he made his debut uh, in a friendly against Brazil due to a sprained ankle. Um, so he, due to the sprained ankle injury, he suffered. Uh, the first choice keeper in Tumilange Kone uh, was now uh, the replacement uh, of uh, uh, Williams. So these are the stories coming in uh, uh, from the South African camp. Uh, they have a very strong defender. We have a very good set of attackers. Uh, um, uh, let's quickly go for a short break. And then when we come back, we'll be looking at uh, what to expect uh, from uh, the tactical side of uh, Joseph Pacero and his boys. Uh, and then the tactical side uh, of uh, the South African side. Don't go nowhere. We're discussing Afghan. And we'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, you're watching uh, the sports uh, sponsor. I'll come your way live from Politics and Business TV right here on your social media platforms. We're out there. Uh, you can stream us live and direct and drop your comment. Uh, uh, give us your predictions uh, of what uh, uh, you think the game between Nigerian Super of, uh, Eagles uh, will be slugging it out against this Bafana Bafana of South Africa. What do you think the game would look like? Uh, should it be 1-0, 2-0? Or a three zero bashing of the Bafana Bafanas, or did we say uh, this is the end of the road for the Nigerian Super Eagles? Now, I'm talking about the end of the road for the Nigerian Super Eagles. Uh, one of our own, uh, a former captain, uh, one of uh, the most decorated player of the Nigerian Super Eagles, uh, uh, has come out uh, uh, to say that uh, um, uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles would not qualify to the finals of the African Cup of Nations this time around as uh, he uh, steps out Africa. To go straight uh, uh, uh he has tipped uh, uh qualify beg your pardon to go straight uh, uh to uh data uh, uh finals and also to win it so if uh nigeria uh, gets to the final uh he is actually saying that they would lose uh, uh to the code of ones uh, uh let's quickly look at who is that person and that person is none other than the most one of the most decorated players in africa shows uh, one of uh, the men uh, who have actually played uh, in a chelsea football club of london none other than john michael obi uh, who was our former captain uh, and he has come out uh, uh, to give it out uh, uh, to uh, the uh, code of one side uh, the former international uh, michael obi has predicted that the final of the 2023 african cup of nations uh, will be played uh, between the nigerian super eagles and uh, Ivory Coast on the 11th of February, and he has tipped the Ivorians uh, to the favorite of the night on Saturday on the 11th of February uh, 2023. Uh, yes, uh, in a charter with uh, newsmen, uh, the former uh, Chelsea star uh, stated that uh, Nigeria uh, will overcome the Bafana Bafana of South Africa in the semi finals, while Ivory Coast will edge the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, but uh, he thinks, uh, and he uh, was thinking about it the other day, and he said, uh, and I quote, uh, I think so. I was thinking about the other day, and I was thinking that uh, we managed to beat them in the group stage, and they were on the verge of leaving. The tournament, uh, they were on the verge of leaving the tournament, and all of a sudden, you know, they are back in, they are back in it, and now they have got a wind uh, with them. And now we are playing pretty okay but not so well uh, but uh, uh, they have started to win games and now they can manage to get to the finals who knows uh, they would win it so what do you think about our own is he being patriotic or is just trying to be a football fan yes a lot of people will argue uh is actually uh, not uh, being fact that uh, he has played this game uh, in 2014 he has played this game in 2010 uh, when they faced uh, the south african side he was part of the players uh, who actually made an assist uh, in our last game uh, uh, against them uh, uh, where we scored four goals to nothing uh, in that encounter between nigeria and the nigeria and, and the bafana bafana of south africa but right now he's tipping the ivorians uh, to actually be uh, the winners uh, of uh, this uh, 2023 african cup of nation we have uh, the african best player in the world uh, in africa uh, right now in the shows uh, we have one of the best attackers in the english premier league in our shows uh, we have the best midfield pros uh, in the shows we have the best defenders uh, uh, in the shows uh, and right now he is saying the ivorians uh, who started on the low coast who we beat on the group stage would actually come back to have a revenge what do you think? Now let's look at uh, the tactical formation uh, being used uh, by Joseph Pacero, uh, where uh, he has uh, Osime uh, keeping up uh, to, to tackle the defense uh, of every uh, team they actually face. Now, a lot of our defenders have actually uh, been, uh, uh, been tricked uh, by Jose Pacero having using his 4 2 3 1 formation. A 4 3 3 formation, but broken into a 4 2 3 1 formation uh, where uh, he has uh, been hiding on Victor Osime. Uh, down the flank uh, and pushing in uh, uh, Lukman uh, to be the man up front uh, uh, to be pressuring uh, uh, to be making ease uh, of the pressure uh, for coming in from Osime because every defender is eye bound on uh, Victor Osime. Now uh, let's look at that formation. A lot of people would say uh, from uh, March day one uh, when we when we had that game, uh, it was very difficult for us to start. We we, we couldn't even score. Uh, we were all lucky. And the man came out to say that he was saving the goals uh, for 
the round of 16, the quarterfinals, and also the semis, and if possible, uh, to get to the finals. And now we've seen that changes coming in. We've seen Lukman backing up the goals. We've seen Osime even scoring, and also uh, the games have been cancelled. Uh, so uh, I think uh, for me, uh, though, I would like to get your comments on the comment section. Um, uh, Jose Paseros, a 4 2 3 1 formation, has actually since he started using it in March day three of the group stage. And until this moment, uh, uh, they've actually been making waves. Uh, they've been creating per uh, 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 perseverance, uh, more chances, uh, more shot on target. Uh, uh, we've seen uh, 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 Lukman being the, the target of all uh, the, the, the ball pulls. Uh, but uh, Osime, a lot of people have seen that he needs to rejuvenate uh, his uh, Napoli character into uh, these uh, African Cup of Nations games uh, uh, so that uh, he will define the reason why he is uh, the African Cup of Nations. He is not among the top goal scorers uh, in the African Cup of Nations at the moment, uh, but uh, he has made an impact. In five games, he has made one assist and scored a goal. What do you think about this? Uh, let's quickly glance uh, through. Let's uh, go for a quick break. Uh, it's time for us to almost say goodbye. But before we go, I would like to chip in uh, one or two uh, stories coming in uh, from the European scene, uh, either from the Premier League. Uh, you saw what happened last night. Manchester City uh, came from behind to win it three goals to one against uh, Brentford. Hat trick uh, for uh, the man, Phil Foden, and uh, a welcome back assist uh, from Alan and De Bruyne. Let's quickly go for a quick break and when we come back we'll be looking at the Manchester City game, game last night and then possibility of games that will come down this weekend. Right, uh, yes, uh, who shall win the African Cup of Nations 2023? Is it Cote d'Ivoire? Is it Democratic Republic of Congo, the newcomers? Is it the three-time owners of the Nigerian Super Eagles? Or the ones who have last been in this competition uh, in this stage uh, in 2014, the Bafana Bafana of South Africa? Yes, you can drop your comment on the comment section on uh, all our platforms on YouTube, on Facebook, at all the platforms. Uh, you can get us live and drop your comments, uh, drop your predictions. Uh, and then when we come tomorrow, we'll be reading it out uh, for you guys. Uh, and then we'll be talking more uh, of the expectations uh, that we will be having in uh, the house. Uh, and probably we could be speaking of, uh, to one of uh, these big men uh, who are actually into the picture of the Nigerian Super Eagles camp. Uh, I will be speaking with one or two of them. So, uh, if we could get uh, to uh, the, uh, the the president of the All Coaches Association in Nigeria, uh, talking about uh, Coach Ladan Boso, we'll be speaking to him probably tomorrow uh, to see uh, what is the stake out there and how is the camp actually like? Uh, are we actually accepting the fact that Jose Pacero is the man for it? Let's quickly glance into Europe as time is faster as spent. Let's go straight up to Manchester City starting up with their game last night before we go into what is trending in the transfer terrain. Yes, Manchester City actually triumphed against Brentford. Three goals to one uh, with a very, very tight encounter. They were losing one goal to nothing in the halftime uh, where uh, we had Maupi uh, taking up uh, the first goal uh, with an assist coming in from even Tony. In fact, uh, that game was a good dominance uh, for Brentford in the first half but in the second half uh, just like a wounded lion 
The Manchester City side, the Etihad side, uh, came out. Uh, like you know them, they call them the noisy neighbors. They call them the blue side of Manchester. I uh, came out uh, to triumph uh, with a very superb assist uh, coming in uh, uh, from uh, the man. Talking about Kevin De Bruyne, KDB, uh, who gave forward in the first goal, the second goal also. And then the third goal was an assist uh, uh, from uh, uh, Haaland, uh, who uh, tried to hit uh, the post, uh, to go the goal post, uh, but... Uh, uh, till the night went off in the 85th minute when he was being bent, uh, he wouldn't get a goal. He won in that encounter and right now uh, Pep Guardiola is coming out to make counter and on honor of um, uh, Alanda and he is saying to Real Madrid, if you want uh, uh, Ellen Brut Alanda, call me directly. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, he's actually trying to say that uh, uh, the speculation trilling uh, that uh, Real Madrid uh, want to sign Haaland by the end of uh, this season uh, is uh, uh, not true. And it is rumors. But if truly Real Madrid uh, wants uh, uh, to sign in the man, they should call him directly to speak to him. He is not the agent, but he is the coach. Uh, these are trends coming in from the social media and the banters and also we saw Fabrizio uh, the man uh, who is uh, uh, one of uh, the most talked uh, 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 footballer, journalist uh, who actually breaks in uh, uh, stories of soldier uh, gave uh, that one. Now quickly let's go straight to result of matches the triumph on Monday night footballer uh, uh, which was yesterday uh, Roma a trash Cagliarell four goals to nothing in the Italian Serie A in the Spanish La Liga. Uh, we saw Rio Vallecano lost to Sevilla two goals to one in that mouth watering encounter. And also we'll be looking at the fixtures of matches uh, that will be coming down pre pre pretty well uh, today in the FA Cup uh, uh, round of four of uh, uh, um, the FA Cup. We'll be seeing commentary taking on Sheffield Wednesday by 7.45 p.m. White Plymouth will be taking on Leeds United 7.45 p.m. South Anton will be hosting Watford. 7.45 p.m. Uh, these are the matches that will be trailing up uh, later today uh, in uh, the FA Cup uh, for round Cup. And Aston Villa will be taking up Chelsea tomorrow by 8 p.m. While uh, 7.45 p.m. Nottingham Forest will be battling out uh, against Bristol City. Yes, sir. Uh, and also in the German Bundesliga on Wednesday 5.30 p.m. Mays will be taking on Union Berlin. Uh, we will be having a very tight encounter in the African Cup of Nations 5 p.m. Nigerian time. Nigeria will be taking on South Africa on Wednesday evening and also the Ivorians will be battened out against uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo in the later night uh, by 8 p.m. on Wednesday. And on Friday we'll be looking at Borussia Dortmund taking on Freiburg uh, Salitana taking on Empoli in both German Bundesliga and Italian Serie A and the Spanish La Liga Cadiz will be taking on Real Betis. Uh, Marcel would host Meza in the French League or oh, these are the games that will be coming down uh, later uh, those days. So this is the size of the package today, the first edition of the African Cup of Nations Côte d'Ivoire uh, 2023 encounter uh, with my name uh, still remaining Redon Musaga or RMG. Let's meet tomorrow for another encounter moment uh, and uh, we will be discussing with uh, uh, some analysts uh, uh, pretty well on how the game will look like tomorrow. What is your prediction? Drop it in the comment section tomorrow when we come. We'll be reading it out. I say bye for now.